Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will briefly learn about spherical coordinates and then we will learn how we can evaluate triple integrant spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinates represents a point P in space by the order triples rho phi and theta, where rho is the distance of the point from the origin, phi is the angle which the line OP makes with positive z-axis, theta is the angle from cylindrical coordinates. These are the transformation equations and in spherical coordinate system, we will always take small differential volume element dv as rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Next, we will learn to evaluate this question number 26 from Thomas Kelpers 12th edition books, exercise 15.7. In triple integral spherical coordinates, rho is our inner variable, phi is our central variable and theta is our outer variable. And this arrangement is always fixed. Here, the limits of rho are 0 to secant of phi, limits of phi are 0 to pi by 4, and the limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi. Please note that with respect to rho, cos of phi and sine of phi are constant. We can take it outside of the most inner integral. And when we multiply rho square with rho, it becomes rho cube for the limits 0 to secant of phi. Next, I can apply this formula Integral of x raised to power n dx is equal to x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c on this integral. So I have the integration of rho cube as rho raised to power 4 over 4. In the next step, applying the limits, we have secant raised to power 4 over 4 minus 0 over 4. Now making the simplifications, we have sine phi cos phi into 1 over cos of phi whole raised to power 4. Next, 1 cos of phi and 1 cos of phi will be cancelled out and we have 1 over cos cube. And this 1 over cos cube can be split as 1 over cos into 1 over cos square. Now, making the transformations with the help of trigonometric function, sine phi over cos phi is tan of phi and 1 over cos square phi can be written as secant square of phi. Now, in order to integrate it, we can use this formula. It is a function with some power and its derivative is available as a multiplier, then we can apply the integration as f of x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1. What it means, we will add 1 in the power and divide with the same term. Here, the derivative of tan is secant square, so its integration will be tan square phi over 2. In the next step, we will apply the limits, upper limits minus lower limit. Substituting the values, I have tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 and tan of 0 equal to 0. So I get 1 by 2. This 1 by 2 will go outside it and this 1 by 4 become 1 by 8. And the integration of d theta for the limit 0 to 2 pi will be theta. In the next step, applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, I have 2 pi minus 0, which is equal to 2 pi. Making the simplification, it become pi by 4. I hope you have understood this question. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.